This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com and GatheringMagic.com, your place to explore the game. Hi, I'm Uriah of the CMD Art X YouTube channel, here with my buddy Ro. Today is a very special video because today is the fifth anniversary of the CMD Art X YouTube channel. That'll be this Friday, April 8th. So first I want to thank everyone that's either watched the videos, uh, especially those that have submitted videos. Hundreds of people have submitted this. This is truly a community channel. All of the deck techs that you have sent in, because there's no way I, with my deck techs, could have gone for five whole years showcasing the Commander format. So thank you very much for submitting those decks to me. I also want to say that if you are going to be at GP Albuquerque, which will be not this weekend, but next weekend, I'll be down there as well. If you want to get a deck tech in or just some games in, come find me. I'm pretty easy to find. And then uh, today we have a very special video for the fifth anniversary. Uh, unfortunately, our mutual friend Dave passed away just about a month ago. And uh, right before he left, he wanted to build a Shadowborn Apostle deck with Aethros as the commander. Uh, so in tribute to him, Ro has decided to build that deck. So today that's what we're going to do. My name is Ro and this is my Aethros God of Passage EDH deck. So this is my commander, Athreos, God of Passage. Um, I will say this deck is based on the Shadowborn Apostle deck by the guys at the Command Zone podcast, Josh and Jimmy. Uh, so special thanks to those guys. Um, all right, let's get started. So first my non-basics, Command Tower. And then I have some, uh, some black-white Duels, Tainted Field, Guildgate, Orzhov Basilica, okay, Caves, Shambling Vents, uh, Scoured Barons, I think is what that is. And then I have Evolving Wilds and Terramorphic Expanse. And I've got all of the Cycling Lands. Uh, Bajuka Bog for a little Graveyard Hate. This deck is primarily black, so Urborg is nice. It turns my plains into swamps, which is pretty handy. Uh, Crypt of Agadim. There's times when I have a lot of creatures in my graveyard, um, so this can be handy. And then I've got... Twelve swamps. And six planes. And then we get to the Shadowborn Apostles. Um, so I'm going to be using these guys to sacrifice to go get a demon or to other sac effects. And I'm going to be trying to power out a lot of these guys at once. And then try and get them back by... Uh, asking someone if I can have them back with Athreos and his ability. Um, generally, I either want to make a buddy or I want to take someone hostage by uh, asking someone who has a low life total to pay three for each of the six that I sacrifice to search for a demon, which is 18 life, and that's, that can be quite a bit. So I've got 32 Shadowborn Apostles in here. Full third of the deck. And then we'll start with some of the demons that I'm going to go fetch. Uh, Archfiend of Depra uh, Depravity um, is a nice controlling demon that can keep players with token players or people who have a lot of other creatures, keep them down to two creatures each uh, for all your opponents. So that's nice. Um, Blood Gift Demon is, uh, is good. I need a lot of card draw. This deck is hungry for card draw. Uh, Reaper from the Abyss is one of the ways in this deck for removal. Um, so I use that guy and he remembers the trigger 
for Morbid at the end of the end step, and I can destroy something after I bring him into play. Uh, Runescar Demon is probably the first demon that I will search for, put him onto the battlefield, and then go search up uh, one of the combo pieces or win cons in the deck. <clears throat> Pestilence Demon, um, another nice controlling demon, can just wipe the board with him. Overseer of the Damned, uh, for some uh, spot destruction. I've got Commander Sphere in here. I think it's the only mana rock that I'm running. Uh, I just like that it's you sacrifice it to draw a card when you don't need it anymore. Uh, Frexine Arena for more card draw. Erebos is also more card draw, but also uh, prevents opponents from gaining life, which can be a bit of a nuisance if you're trying to get them to pay life. If they can just gain it back, then they don't mind uh, letting your creatures go to the graveyard. Um, Black Market will get you a lot of mana. Uh, when your Shadowborns die, I mean, just one sacrifice and you've got uh, six counters on it. Thrumming Stone is absurd. Gives all your spells Ripple 4 and uh, usually See, it's my experience that when you play a Shadowborn Apostle with the Thrumming Stone in play, uh, you get all the Shadowborn Apostles out of your deck, which is fantastic. Uh, Crypt Ghast helps accelerate mana, and the Extort is nice since your spells are really cheap. No Rest for the Wicked is one of the ways to bring back all the Shadowborn Apostles if you don't have Athreos out, or if... Uh, if people pay life and have them go to the graveyard, you can sack this, uh, put them all back into play. Faith's Reward is an instant way to do that. So, same thing. Rise of the Dark Realms is nice if people have been paying to put your Shadowborns in the graveyard and can also just uh, outright win the game if a lot of other people have powerful stuff in the yards. <clears throat> Grim Horror Specs is one of the ways when your Shadowborns die that you can that you can draw into more cards. Edgewalker says cleric spells cost white black less to play. Um, this card makes your Shadowborn Apostles free and combos nicely with uh, Athreos and uh, sad, like a Frexian Altar. And some other cards that we'll get to. Uh, Remembrance is another card that's not seen in EDH very often. When a non-token creature is put into a graveyard, you can search your library for a copy of that creature and put it in your hand. So for every Shadowborn that dies when this is on the on the field, you get to go get another one. So not generally a card used in EDH, but uh, pretty nice in this deck. Dictate of Erebos. Uh, Grave Pact, um, Flash, and it's great, nice way to control the board because you're going to be sacking a lot of creatures. Read the Bones, just want to draw more cards. Ancient Craving, one, one more mana, one more card. Uh, Mortal Servitude is good because you can pay four mana and return all your Shadowborns uh, from your graveyard to the battlefield. So if people have been putting them there, you can get them all back. Harvester of Souls is another way when your non-token creatures die, you can draw a card. And uh, yes, that does include imp opponents, so this guy will draw you a ridiculous amount of cards. Uh, Merciless Evictions in here um, for the Exile All Artifacts or Exile All Enchantments. Um, you probably don't want to exile all creatures because you want ears in the yard. I guess af if after you've sacrificed, you play this... Uh, you can clear the rest of the board, but it's a, just a nice, versatile sweeper. On to some sack outlets. Frexine Altar is the best. Um, with this and some of the other cards in here, you can, you can start looping things. Um, sacking your Shadowborns to play more Shadowborns. Um, if you have a Remembrance out, you can go get another Shadowborn and just play it, and then sack it and go get another one and play it. Um, 
So yeah, there's a lot of loops to be done here, and if you've got somebody that will give you back your Shadowborns and something like Edgewalker, you can uh, generate infinite mana. Uh, Cartel Aristocrat is just a free sack outlet. Uh, Vampiric Rites is a sack outlet, and you get to gain a little life and draw a card. Viscera Seer is another uh, free sack outlet. And Skull Clamp for drawing them cards. So we get to some of the win cons of the deck. There are not many. Um, a lot of room is taken up by the 32 Shadowborn Apostles. So you really need these cards to stick. You need to play them when it matters. Um, Gary is a great way. All of those Shadowborn Apostles have a black mana symbol. Um, so your devotion can add up quite quick. Pontiff of Blight has the... All your creatures have extort, and since your creatures are really cheap, uh, it's a good way to drain everybody out. Better way to drain everybody out is Falconrath Noble, and whenever a creature dies, target player loses a life and gain a life. Now, because it's target player, and this will include his buddy Blood Artist, uh, because it's target player, you can, if you can get one of those loops going, you can buddy up with somebody to take other people out of the game. Uh, by having them give you back your Shadowborn Apostles and then sacking them to Phyrexian Altar and just looping it that way. And then you can, like I said, you can team up with somebody, take somebody else out of the game. So that's real nice. A special thanks to Chris Combs for some of the cards in this deck that I was missing, including Blood Artist. That's it. Thanks for watching CMDR decks. Please subscribe and favorite.